Hello everyone, welcome to Spec eLearn, the online learning channel dedicated to chemical engineers. Interview questions and answers, distillation part 4. I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel, which is striving hard to deliver valuable knowledge for your career progress. So subscribe now before you forget. For every question, you are given 20 seconds to think about your answer. Then the answer will appear. Check your answer is correct. Wherever required, detailed explanation is given. In this video, you will have an insight into the possible questions that are likely to be asked in the interview related to distillation process. For my viewers who are preparing for GATE 21 examination, I have added two questions from the exam point of view. The two questions are question number 23 and question number 25. I do hope you will like it. Question number 21. For separation of a given liquid feed into respective components, the number of theoretical stages are 50. What will be the approximate number of actual stage for the same degree of separation? The time starts now. Your time is up, the answer. You need overall column efficiency to determine the actual number of stages. The overall efficiency EO is defined as the ratio of number of theoretical stages in the column to the number of actual stages in the column. Overall efficiency is most commonly used efficiency term in the design of distillation column. The overall column efficiency is approximately taken as 50% for preliminary design. So the number of actual stages will be 50 into 100 by 50 which equals 100. Question number 22. What is HETP? Your time starts now. Your time is up. The answer. HETP is a height equivalent to a theoretical plate. This term is used as a measure of efficiency of a given packed bed. HETP is the height of the packing in a distillation column to achieve a given separation as would be achieved on one theoretical stage. Higher HETP indicates lower efficiency. HETP values are complex functions of temperature, pressure, composition, density, viscosity, diffusivity, pressure drop, vapor and or liquid flow rates and packing characteristic etc.
Question number 23. Two packed towers are designed for the same mass velocity of the gas. The first tower has a liquid and gas flow rate of 30 kg per second and 1.2 kg per second respectively. The second tower has a liquid and gas flow rates of 67.7 kg per second and 1.8 kg per second respectively. What is the ratio of the design diameter of the wider tower to the narrower tower? Your time starts now. Your time is up. The answer. It is given that the two towers have been designed for the same mass velocity g. The mass velocity g of the first tower g t1 equals the mass velocity of the second tower g t2 equals to us into rho g where us is the superficial velocity, rho g is the gas density. The gas flow rate through the tower T1 is 1.2 kg per second. Gas flow through the tower T2 is 1.8 kg per second. The area of tower T1, AT1 is equal to mass flow rate divided by GT1. The area of tower T2, AT2 equals mass flow rate divided by the GT2. The area of tower T1, AT1 equals 1.2 divided by gt1 the area of the tower t2 at2 equals 1.8 divided by gt2 the ratio of the two towers at2 to at1 equals 1.8 divided by 1.2 which equals 1.5 the ratio of the diameter of the wider tower to the diameter of the narrower tower equals square root of 1.5 which equals 1.225 The wider tower has 22.5% larger diameter. The increase in area takes care of the higher liquid loading of 67.7 kg per second while maintaining the same superficial velocity as a narrower tower. Question number 24. You are given two types of packing, packing A and packing B. Packing A has a HTP of 0.5 meter and packing B has HTP of 0.3 meter. Which packing you will select for a heat sensitive product? Your time starts now. The time is up. The answer. The HTP of packing A 0.5 meter is higher than packing B which is 0.3 meter. Hence packing B is more efficient. For a given feed and separation objective, 
the packed column with the packing J will have packing head higher than than with packing B. Accordingly, packed column with the packing J will have higher pressure drop than the column with packing B. And this figure illustrates two distillation columns filled with two different packing material A and B. Tower A has a packing height of Z1 plus Z2. Tower B has a packing height of Z3 plus Z4. The height of packed tower A will be greater than packed tower B. Hence, delta P of tower A will be greater than delta P of tower B. Higher pressure drop means higher pressure at the bottom of the column. Higher pressure makes a liquid boil at higher temperature. At higher temperature, heat sensitive products get degraded or decomposed. This affects the quality of the product produced. Since a column B will have a lower pressure drop, the packing B is preferred for heat sensitive product. Question number 25. Your binary mixer with two components A and B is to be separated in your distillation column to get 95 mole percent A as the top product. The relative volatility for the binary mixer is 2. The column feed is a saturated liquid containing 50 mole percent A. What is the minimum reflex ratio required for separation? Your time starts now. Your time is up. The answer. The limiting condition occurs at minimum reflex ratio when an infinite number of trays will be required to effect separation. This occurs at a point where the rectification operating line intersects the equilibrium line. At minimum reflex, both operating lines touch the equilibrium line, that is pinch point, at y dash and x dash in the equilibrium diagram. You need infinite number of stages to effect separation. Given that the feed is a saturated liquid, that is, Q is equal to 1, at minimum reflex, the Q line and the enrichment line both intersect the equilibrium line at the same point. Illustrated in this figure is the McCarthy diagram developed for designing the distillation column for the given separation. Mole fraction of A in the feed is 0.5 and mole fraction of A in the distillate XD is 0.95. If you draw the rectification line such that the line interacts the equilibrium line at P, which is point x dash minus y dash. The slope of the equilibrium line is Rm divided by Rm plus 1 as shown. At minimum reflux, the slope of the operating line for rectification is obtained from the graph Rm divided by Rm plus 1 equals xt minus y dash 
divided by x t minus x dash. Since the feed is a saturated liquid, Q is equal to 1 and x dash is equal to xf. Substituting this at the minimum reflux, the slope of the rectification line becomes Rm divided by Rm plus 1 equals xt minus y dash divided by xt minus xf. Now let us write the relationship between the equilibrium concentration and relative volatility for ideal solution. Ya is equals alpha AB into XA divided by 1 plus alpha AB minus 1 into XA. Find out the value of Y dash by substituting in the expression the values of alpha AB which is 2 and x dash is equal to x of equal to 0.5. You will get y dash is equal to 0 0.666. Using the calculated value of y dash equal to 0 0.666, find out the slope of the rectification line at minimum reflex using the previously given expression. You get Rm by Rm plus 1 equal to 0.631. So the minimum reflex ratio is Rm equals 1.614. Please subscribe to our channel and get updates on the upcoming courses by pressing the subscribe button. It will motivate us to produce free knowledge rich video content for you. With this we have come to the end of the presentation. Please give your comments if any about this course after you finished viewing this video. Share with your friends and colleagues to reach out to large number of career-oriented professional students. Thank you for watching.